Mad Max on you live from Closeout Bats, and today I am talking about Louisville Slugger fast pitch softball, and right here I have the Louisville Slugger meta. We are excited about this bat. We've seen the success with it in baseball. We've been asking for a couple of years, when is this going to be coming out? Um, and we are happy that it is here. Now, this bat will be available in a drop 10, a drop 9, and a drop 8, right? So really, we're going to have a lot of girls be swinging this. Definitely the stronger girls will be swinging this. Although drop 10, you have the 30, the 31 available, which definitely a younger girl could use. But 32 to 33 to 34, we're going to see a, a, a lot of girls be swinging this that are maybe in that high school to college setting. Uh, this bat utilizes that mash composite. Now, I laugh when I see these names because the mash composite I've seen in the Louisville Slugger side of slow pitch softball, which a couple of years ago, we were one of the only places carrying the Louisville Slugger slow pitch softball bats. And I got to tell you, those Louisville Slugger slow pitch softball bats, they had some pop to them for sure. People liked it. We saw success with it. So I can almost bank on the meta being a major success. We're going to have a new connection piece, which is going to be a little bit different than the connection pieces that we've seen in the past. It's obviously going to be more of that kind of spider type thing. It's going to be called the VTX connection piece. You're also going to have a new end cap to it. So that new end cap, really kind of cool looking end cap, is going to be the F2X end cap, which is going to be engineered just to kind of give a little bit more durability and a lighter swing weight. Good looking bat. The, one of the longer barrels that I've ever seen. We like the grip on it. We like the name. A bat that ultimately we've already had some girls swinging in here. Some girls actually really liked it. They're going to wait on this bat. Um, and a bat that really is going to set Louisville Slugger up for kind of the shift. You know, you get upset with these things when like the Xena goes away. But ultimately, they're not doing it because... You know, they want to kind of just do away with the Xeno and, you know, ah, we, you know, it's over. They're always looking for the next best thing. And that's kind of where maybe the one year where the Xeno goes away is a rough year. But ultimately what's coming in, what's brewing thereafter is for the better. And now we're going to have a nice setup where we're going to have the meta. We're going to have the nice RXT into the LXT. And you're going to be talking about that three-headed monster, which I think Louisville has always tried to kind of capture where it was the LXT, the Xeno. Then we went to the PXT, but they can never kind of do it. They always had that one-two punch, but now we have it. You're going to be seeing some good things from Louisville Slugger. It's going to lead off with the meta. We're excited. Going to be launching. We, I hope that obviously this is it's end of July to early August. But anyway, we're excited. You can find it on the Close Bets website. And uh, you heard it here first. This is going to be a big success. You guys can find it on the Close Bets website where you can always shop smart and save big bucks.